Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Paycheck 777 and today I'm coming at you with the design team project for Renee Bouquets. Now this project, as a lot of you know, I totally, and a lot of us do, totally frequent like thrift shops and stuff. And I found this cute little um, decor piece for like a dollar and I'm like, I could totally cutesy that up. And so I did. So I'm going to move my sign out of the way and show you what I came up with. Okay, and what I bought. So this is what I found at the thrift store. And it's like a ceramic, like an old time um, ceramic kind of like vase looking thing. But it's only a half. I know, right? Um, it's so it could be hung on the wall, but it totally is stable enough and sits perfectly upright, which is probably the way I would do it. I probably would not hang it on the wall. But anyway, what I started out doing is it kind of had like a, a bluish um, kind of cream and a blue um, paint job on it, so to speak. So what I did is I started out with some Prima um, texture paste, this white crackle. Now Renee has crackle texture paste in her shop. I know she has the clear. Um, so if you'd like to try this out, you know, maybe the clear crackle would be awesome because maybe you want it really subtle on your projects, you know, that would be something to use. Um, and then, of course, you could paint over it. But, you know, I always tend to use, I've totally always used, like, the Tim Holtz White Crackle paint. And so I was really thrilled when Prima came out with the White Crackle because you get a totally bigger jar of it. <laughs> um, anyway, so I painted over the top of this and then the bluish kind of showed through um, the texture. Let me bring it up and show you bring it in there so you can kind of see there you there you can kind of see oops I'm trying to look to my camera you can kind of see the crackling in here and you can kind of see the bluish tint showing through I love that because when I saw this I knew I kind of wanted to work with blues and creams um, so it worked perfectly for me um, and then what I did on the front of it here is I had some rub on um, words in my stash so I rubbed on some words in the front obviously says happiness and dream and this one says adore and I couldn't tell you who um, you know the manufacturers were because I've got like a whole tub of rub-ons um, but you know wanted to pull those out of my stash um, so I did that and then on the inside um, I just started layering a ton of flowers um, the blue flowers, except for this, this is like Prima from the, is it Time Traveler's Memories or Stationer's Desk Collection. This one and this blue leaf and kind of this blue back in here um, from the Prima Collection. But these blue ones here, um, I use Lindy's Stamp Gang, the Whale Watch Blue, to get that color. And this flower is actually a white flower. This is a beautiful, beautiful fabric flower from Renee's shop. Let me show you um, what they look like. Let me get it out here. These are the actual flowers, and you can see how big they are. These are the actual flowers. She's got these in a few different colors, and um, I love the texture of the fabric. And of course, like I said, it's fabric, and so it takes sprays really well. So when I used the uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Whale Watcher Blue on it, it just, I mean, just came out so gorgeous. So that's the uh, blue flower here. Um, and then these other flowers that have, these are just uh, flowers, I think recollection flowers, these white ones. Um, and even though they're white, I kind of wanted them to look opaque looking. So I pulled out my Mr. Huey's uh, opaque white color mist and 
you know, sprayed the white flowers white, but like I said, it kind of made it opaque looking. They actually kind of ha have like a chalk-like appearance to them. And so I just thought that turned out really uh, pretty. So I layered a bunch of, you know, all the different flowers inside here. This metal heart in the back actually came from Michael's. It's just from their $1.50 bin, and yes, $1.50. Um, they came out with not too long ago. And then I've got like some bead landing gears here and here. And I've got like a Prima gear here. And I uh, paint, those are all metal color and I painted them white. Um, this little collection in the front here, this metal um, clock face here, this is by Prima. This is the Vintage Mechanicals clock face. This is found in Renee's shop and it was like a metal color. Um, let me show you. A lot of you know these have been out for a long time, but they are um, kind of hard to get a hold of, I think, and Renee carries them in her shop. Um, and the one I used was, it's about the size of this. Two come in a pack. It was silver, painted it white. And then on the front of that is this beautiful metal broke frame. That also came from Renee's shop. And let me show you, um, let me take it out of the package. You get two in a package and they are gorgeous right here. And they're a nice, nice size. Look at the ornateness and the texture of that frame, metal frame. And again, I just painted it white. Okay, and then on the front of that is a Prima clock face and a Prima clock hand, also from Renee's shop. And I know, you guys, I know, because I searched and searched and searched until Renee got these in her shop. These clock faces and clock hands are hard to get a hold of. Um, and I think I've bought in pretty much every one she has, but no, I know there's more in there, but you know, I buy them by like, you know, six packages at a time from Renee's shop. So, and you guys know I use these on like every project. Anyway, so from Renee's shop, this cute little oval frame here, these are by Prima, also from Renee's shop. They're the Shabby Chic Treasures. You get three um, in a package and I use the tiny smallest oval frame. Okay. Um, this little metal piece is also by Prima, and that just came from my stash. This beautiful butterfly, look at the glitter glass on that. Here and over here came from Renee's shop. These are the tiny treasures. You get five in a package, and these are called the ice. Um, gorgeous. I just love them. Um, and I want to mention if when you go to order butterflies from Renee's shop, you get your choice of color of antenna as well. So whenever you go to place an order, make sure you specify the color of antenna. For these ones, I chose silver because I was kind of working with blues and um, creams, like I said. So look how just gorgeous and sparkly those butterflies are. And her butterflies are the best quality and so dimensional. I love them. Um, then on the front of this I decided to hang some chain, and this is just chain I got from Joann's. They are tiny little hearts chain, and what I did is I just kind of crisscrossed it in the center here, and then, you know, swooped them up both sides, and from the center of that, I hung a bead landing gear, which again, I painted white, and a tiny little locket charm that, of course, I painted white, okay? And then, as an extra added bonus, from Renee's shop, um, I used some of the Prima 3D matte gel, and from her shop, what I was going to say, not the matte gel, from Renee's shop, this beautiful glitter glass. I put some here using the Prima 3D matte gel. I put some right in here, and then I put some down the bottom here. This is just a gorgeous glitter glass. I went ahead and bought quite a few and I'm just going to show you them all. But the one I used on this one from Renee's shop is light gray. But when I got it, look at the gorgeous color of that. And you are seeing it correctly. It kind of has a slight 
beautiful, like almost denim, real minute, almost denim blue shade to it, even though it's light gray. Just gorgeous and her glitter glass gorgeous quality I also order because you guys know I use it a lot and I was almost out of the last one sand and this um, actually kind of looks like a real real pale 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 pink love this um, also ordered this is just pink glitter glass a beautiful shade look at that pink just gorgeous gorgeous and then this one is teal look at the brightness of that I mean it's just stunning I mean I just can't believe the quality of her glitter glass just stunning anyway I wanted to show you those and they are like two dollars a jar I think um, very affordable but anyway, this is my project for Renee Bouquets. I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquets. And I will also have the link to my blog and Pinterest for close-up photos of this. Um, also, what I wanted to tell you, I almost forgot as I was discussing or um, just starting to wrap up my video. All my um, flowers and stuff, what I did since this is flat, is on the back... Um, it's going to be hard to see. I used a piece of acrylic, see-through acrylic, on the back so that I had something to glue my flowers and stuff up against. And then I just took a piece of Prima a Jody Lee Delight paper because it was kind of the right shade of blue to cover the back because, you know, as you're gluing to the acrylic and it's see-through, you're going to see all the glue globs and that's not very attractive. So um, this isn't real attractive either, but it's better than glue globs. Anyway, so that's what I did since it was flat across the back. Um, you know, piece of acrylic to be able to glue to. And this is actually the little wire hanger um, I chose not to take that off in case, you know, the person that's getting this decides she does want to hang it. Although, like I said, I probably wouldn't, but that's the little wire hanger. Um, anyway, like I said, all the links will be down below. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!